Well, since 1988, Hal Johnson and his lovely wife, Joanne, have sent a message out to Canadians to keep fit and have fun. October 22nd, they will bring that message to Edmonton when they take part in the Canadian Diabetes Expo at the Italian Culture Centre. Hal Johnson from uh, Body Break joins us this afternoon. Uh, Hal, you know, I remember as a young boy in the early 80s, growing up in Fort McMurray while I was out watching cartoons, your Body Break ads would appear... And then I would get that itch to go out, play some street hockey, or toss the ball around in the backyard. How did Body Break start? Well, we first started Body Break June 8th of 1988, and Joanna and I came up with the concept and idea. And then we um, went to many different companies, and we were all turned down. And then we went um, to participation. And uh, the interesting thing is because I'm black and Joanna's white, the, um, the TSN, which was a, a new sports channel at that time, told me that they wouldn't put it on the air. Mm. And th- that's why, uh, because of our interracial, and I thought I was kind of, I thought, well, uh, who would think it would, this is a good thing? And then I, I went, uh, I thought, well, the government, who promotes fitness for the government? Hmm, there's not that company called Participation. So that's how I got to Participation, and that's how it all got started. And But we were only with Participation for two years, and then since about mid-1990s, we've produced uh, and continue to produce today uh, our own Body Break episodes, over 300 episodes to this point. So how did you and your lovely wife uh, come about back in the day? How did you guys meet? Uh, well, uh, surprisingly enough, we met in a gym. Um, we, we were working out, and uh, she looked pretty good, so I went over and said hi. And, um, you know, now uh, 27 years later, we're we're still together and uh, have a daughter and, and try to get the message out to all Canadians to, to keep fit and have fun. And that's really been our message from the very beginning. And, and hopefully when, when we'll be coming to Edmonton on the 22nd, we'll be uh, uh, getting that message out to uh, Edmontonians. That's right. You're talking about October 22nd. Uh, your big event attending the uh, CDA Expo. Your main topic that day will be uh, living with diabetes and, and living a uh, healthy life. Yeah, the Canadian Diabetes Association has sponsored a series of events across the country that Joanne and I will be speaking at. And these are great events, and you just have to go to diabetes.ca backslash expo, E-X-P-O, to uh, register. And we you know, encourage everybody to come out and who, people who have diabetes, uh, who are living with diabetes, but also people that are, that are taking care of people with diabetes. And if you just want to get uh, information and tips on how to uh, how to live a healthier, active lifestyle will be uh, not only ourselves, but there'll be other people there as well who will be giving a lot of great information and, and have a uh, fun event. And it's at the um, Italian Cultural Center, which is at uh, 14230 uh, 133rd Avenue um, in Edmonton on the uh, October 22nd. So, Hal, why has it been important for you and Joanne to both get that message out there to keep fit and have fun? Well, it, it, it is something that's dear to our heart. I mean, Joanne and I are both uh, former Canadian athletes, and, and we just think it's a great way to live. And, and especially now, uh, you know, with the diabetes is, is, is really rampant. I mean, it's, it's tripled over the last, you know, 25 years, and it really is affecting our children. I mean, you never – and I'm, when I talk about diabetes, I'm mainly talking about lifestyle behavior that is type 2 diabetes. And, and how do you manage that? How do you get uh, healthier? What do you eat? Um, how does exercise play an important part? Sleep, all the other elements of healthy living um, can help you manage your diabetes. And, and we've we've talked for many years about diabetes, and and um, and really, diabetes is an effect of living a lifestyle which is not a healthy lifestyle. Um, and you know, obviously, it's some people are more susceptible than others. Um, but you make sure, you know, obviously. The first one is you don't smoke, you eat right, and you move your body. It's very, very simple. Um, and it's, you know, diabetes has affected, you know, many people in my life, um, on, my, on my dad's side. Um, there's most of his brothers and sisters have died of diabetes. Um, and, uh, and it was interesting, uh, uh, there's a singer who was, I just heard, uh, I just read, a, read his bio um, online about a month ago. And uh, Luther Vandross, who died um, a few years back, but all of his siblings died of diabetes uh, complications, mm-hmm. and they were in there. He was in his fifties, and um, so his three other siblings also died because of complications with diabetes, and they were uh, in their late fifties and early sixties. So, diabetes is a very, um, it's a negative um, a disease, and it's a disease that, that that type two diabetes can certainly be managed, and um, and in many cases be prevented. Um, 
uh, if they manage it properly. For many Canadians, you know, such as myself, I work long hours like many others. Uh, you know, I go home, I deal with my, my kid. Uh, how can I fit in a couple extra, you know, even an hour worth of activity throughout the day? Well, I think the first thing is it's, it's not like you're fitting it in. I mean, it should be part of your lifestyle. I mean, your uh, your child. How old's your child? She's uh, uh, she's uh, ten. She's ten. Okay, so I mean, I guess there's there's no reason that you. First of all, if you think about your child, your child should be out there and be active. Is that correct? Would you agree with that? That your child should be out there and. Move I, I totally agree. Yes. Well, well, if your child should be active, why don't you be active with your child? And you know, hop on a bike, go for a walk. Uh, there's so many things. And we are the best role models for our children. I mean, we talk about others on TV and others, uh, other celebrities and singers and all of those types of things. We are the number one role models of our kids. And if they, our kids see us smoking and, and um, they're not living a healthy lifestyle in any respect, what are we passing on to them? So yeah. if you don't do it for yourself, do it for your child. So get out there. And, and as I say, don't think i got to fit that in. Right. Just say, hey, you know, if I don't get it in, I'm not going to feel as good. And that's really, it's about feeling better and uh, feeling better today and, and be, a, be a better parent for your, for your child as well. Hal and his beautiful wife, Joanne Johnson from Body Break, coming to Edmonton October 22nd for the uh, CDA Expo at the Italian Culture Center. More details can be found on our Facebook page. Hal Johnson, awesome having you on the show. Can't wait to see you when you come to Edmonton. Well, thanks very much, Jeremy. And until next time, keep fit and have fun.